This is the place where the swelling is. Normally, whenever we talk about the swelling of a parotid, this is the ear, ear lobe and if the superficial lobe of the parotid is involved. So, when we talk about the lobe, lower anatomy, we have the superficial lobe and deep lobe. Two third of the parotid is involved in the superficial lobe. If the deep lobe is involved in that case, there will be medial shift of the tonsillar pillar. So, for that, we have to go for an intraoral examination. However, Very if you see, there is, uh, you can, I can feel on the consistency. It's a well circumscribed but a nodular lesion. So we can feel the nodularity that we typically see in a pleomorphic adenoma. Now when we talk about pleomorphic adenoma, we also have to understand that it is encapsulated. But at sides it is infiltrated or invaginated by pseudopods and that is why enucleation is impossible for them. So what do you know about the parotico mesetric fascia? Can you tell me something about parotico, parotico mesetric fascia? The patis fascia venous plane. No, that is not. Okay. So parotico mesetric fascia is the extension of the deep cervical fascia mm -hmm. which covers the pectoral, uh, the parotid and the masseter muscle and inserts in the zygoma. So if you try to mobilize it, mm -hmm. it will go laterally. It will come down, but it will not go up. Okay. And this is what is known as a standard curtain sign. So we have to see them in sequence. So if you talk about the temporal branch of the facial nerve, so you'll ask the patient to frown. Kya frown kare? Frown, frown. Yes. Achha. Try to close the eyes. So when you talk about frowning or you can say closing the eyes, we are going to check for the temporal innervation of this. And basically it is the orbicularis oculi and the corrugated supercilia. That is what. Then if you want to check the buccal, you can say innervation, ask the patient to puff the mouth. Aap puff kare. So you can see he can puff it. Can you whistle it? So when he is able to whistle, and can you smile? Extended smile. Yes, extended, extended. Okay. So when we talk about extended smile, what are we involving? We are involving the zygomaticus major and minor, which is also very good. It's normal. When you are doing the puffing, you are basically involving the buccinator. Next is when you talk about the sensory component, there are three important things that you have to ask and check out. If the patient can feel the sensation of salt and sweet over the anterior two third, can you feel the salt and sweet? Yeah. Yes, that's yeah, absolutely yeah. normal that yeah, you can. Yeah. Now, do you have any problem with excessive hearing of the sound like hyperacosis? No, no. So if hyperacosis is not there, that means the nerve to stapedius. Basically, stapedius muscle that is also working fine. Kya aapko bohat zada aankho se pani bagar aata hai? No. So that's hyperlycremation that is also not seen in this case. So this is about the assessment.